Okay, check out this little uh, this little guy in the corner of my browser here. See my little Christmas tree? My little Christmas tree all the way up here in the corner. And I will show you that when, isn't it cute? I made this myself. Um, when you reload, you can uh, see that it's moving. I animated this myself. Well, you, you can't really see. But see, the little lights, they flicker on and off. And the star, it flickers a little bit. Um, I made, see, look, oh, oh, I know, I know. Okay, I made this myself, and I'm going to show you how, and I even put it in the browser myself. It's very easy. Now, this is going to work with um, Windows XP. So let me show you how to do it. Let me look. Let's take a look first at my picture. See, I just took one image icon, and I copied it over and over and over, basically just like a film strip. And then I just changed where the uh, lights were a little bit. So that's easy enough. And then you go into your group policy editor. Now, you get to this by going to start and run and typing gpedit.msc. This is for grouppolicyeditor.msc. And when you hit OK, you get the group policy editor. And you go down into a certain key. It's a little bit like the registry. Um, you're going to have to get the key off the website. And then you just click on custom logo, and you just check customize the animated bitmaps, and you point it to your pretty little picture. And then all you have to do is click OK, and you got it. Now, this is so much easier than it was in Windows 98. In Windows 98, you actually had to add two registry keys and to make this work with the um, exact picture to the exact specifications. It was a little bit more complicated. I have those instructions on the website also. So you can do it in Windows 98, and you can do it in Windows XP. So you got to go to screensavers.com to learn all the keys to do it in 98 and XP, and also to learn how to change it back when Christmas is over and you're sick of it.